The Krasnopol is a Russian laser-guided artillery shell. It is similar in concept to the US M712 Copperhead. It was designed to engage tanks, armored vehicles, buildings, bunkers and various field fortifications, water targets and so on. It was developed by Instrument Design Bureau of Tula. Development commenced in the late 1970s. Production commenced in 1986. Initially the Krasnopol guided shells were used by the latest Soviet 152mm artillery systems, such as the 2A65 Mstab field howitzer and 2S19 Mstab self-propelled howitzer. During the late 1980s Soviet 152mm artillery systems, such as the 2S3 Akatsiya self-propelled howitzer were upgraded in order to be compatible guided shells. The Krasnopol can be also launched from an old D-20 field howitzer. It seems that the Krasnopol was first used during the Russian war in Chechnya. Eventually Russian military used these guided shell during a number of military conflicts, including recent military actions in Ukraine and Syria. The Krasnopol has been exported to China, India, and possibly some other countries. India obtained a total of 3,000 guided shells. These were delivered to India between 1999 and 2002. China obtained at least 1,000 shells between 1999 and 2000, as well as production license for this guided shell. Eventually China developed a number of indigenous precision guided shells, based on the Krasnopol technology. In 2001 Ukraine revealed an indigenous version of the Krasnopol, called Kvitnik. In 2012 it was officially adopted by Ukrainian armed forces and mass production began in 2013. In 2012 Iran revealed indigenous laser-guided munitions, apparently also based on the Krasnopol technology. The Krasnopol uses inertial guidance at mid-course of its trajectory in order to maintain its ballistic arc. At terminal phase it uses semi-active laser homing. These Russian shells require external laser designators. The target must be illuminated with the laser designator in order to achieve an accurate hit. Once the laser signal is detected the onboard guidance system will maneuver the shell to the target. This allows frontline troops to call in fire missions on specific high priority targets for destruction by a single shell, for example a particularly problematic enemy pillbox. Baseline version has a hit probability of 70 to 80 percent. The use of such guided munitions reduces damage to friendly forces and various civilian structures. The Krasnopol is also effective against moving targets, as long as their speed does not exceed 36 km per hour. The Krasnopol shell engages its steering mechanisms at a range of 2.5 km from its target. The target has to be illuminated for 5 to 12 seconds. However the shell cannot operate if it loses its guidance. In this case the shell typically misses the target rather badly, the shell weights 50.8 kg. Warhead weights 20.5 kg and contains 6.4 kg of explosive content. A baseline version has a separate charge, which is attached to the warhead prior to firing. The original LCD-1, 1D-15, laser designator was rather hefty and had a weight 60 kg. It could be assembled into a couple of components for carrying. It was carried by a team 2 spotters. This team also carried radio and synchronization device. Eventually it was replaced by more modern 1D-20, 1D-20M, 1D-22, LCD, 3M1, LCD, 5M laser designators. For example the 1D20M laser designator is significantly lighter and had a weight of 18 kilograms. Interestingly French company Silas developed a DHY307 laser designator for this system. Most likely that it was mainly aimed at export customers of the Krasnopol. The laser designator is operated by a crew of three. Small targets, such as tanks, can be illuminated at a range of 5 to 7 km day and 4 km at night. Larger targets, such as buildings or warships, can be illuminated at a range of 15 km. 
A single Krasnopol shell costs around $35,000. That's significantly less than the cost of a single US GPS guided Excalibur. Although the Excalibur has nearly twice the range and is more reliable. During the 2022 invasion to Ukraine Russians used most of their Krasnopol shell. In some cases these shells were reportedly used as ordinary unguided munitions against area targets. Russian stocks of Krasnopol shells were depleted. However it turned out that Western 155mm artillery systems delivered to Ukraine can achieve pinpoint accuracy at ranges of 30 to 40 km even with ordinary high explosive shells. For example the German PZH-2000 howitzer can operate without forward observers as it fires accurately on the given coordinates and does not require fire adjustment from forward observers. So capabilities of the Krasnopol are rather humble comparing with modern Wester artillery systems and guided shells. Furthermore during the 2022 Ukrainian war Russian artillery systems proved to be rather inaccurate when using ordinary munitions.